Hello everybody, so in this video you're gonna learn how to download and install fresh animation for the Minecraft version 1.21.4. Take it away! So, uh, what we're gonna need to do to download fresh animations is we're gonna need to open up our browser. I'm gonna be using Chrome, and we just type in modrenth into our search bar. And we just click on the top result, which is modrenf.com. If this is not the top result, scroll down until you find modrenf.com. So, we click on this, and we will be taken to this website. It is kind of the hub for a lot of places and a lot of things for Minecraft. Especially this host a server feature. There's a whole playlist on the channel about it that will be linked in the description. You can do some really cool stuff with this. And it has some really cool unintended behaviors. But for now, we're interested in discover content, resource packs, and uh, we just type in fresh, fresh animations. And we'll have fresh animations right here. Fresh animations by Fresh LX. So we just click on it. And we click on versions. And we just download the most recent version. There we go. It's now downloaded. But if we go over to the description and we scroll down, Optifine or Entity Model Features Required. So we need to get Entity Model Features and Entity Texture Features. So if you click this button, it will take you right to entity model features and you just click download and we just select our game version which is going to be 1.21.4 and we're going to select fabric so we just click download there we go and now i just click the back arrow and we click on entity texture features and it's going to take us right to Entity Texture Features. And we just click Download again. Select our game version. Select our platform. And download. So now, we have almost everything we need. So, uh, both of these Entity Texture Features and Entity Model Features, both of these require some form of mod loader in our case we chose fabric so we're gonna need to get fabric so the way to get fabric you just type in fabric minecraft and the top result will be fabricmc.net it will also be linked in the description you just click on the blue download button and the second blue download button or the universal jar and for today i'm just going to be going with the blue download button for windows and now we have the fabric installer now what you need to make sure every time you download a mod you need to go over to versions and you need to go over to just any version. it doesn't typically vary that much version to version but this doesn't appear to have any dependencies it would be a separate section listed here i can show you that by going to another mod and just clicking on iris shaders for example a lot of mods have uh, other dependencies and other mods and other libraries that they also use so we just click on this and you'll see dependencies sodium so these don't appear to have any dependencies so we are just going to uh, go over to our file explorer so once we are in our file explorer, we go over to our downloads folder. And the first thing we're going to do is use the fabric installer to download the newest version of the game. So now that I've double clicked it, it is now launching. There we go. Minecraft version 1.21.4 and loader version 0.16.9. As long as you're going for the newest version, you do not need to, need to mess with this at all, and you can just click install. There we go. Now that it's installed, you can just right-click it and delete it. You no longer need it. 
and for now we're just gonna close our and we're just gonna close this we don't need to mess with this for now so I just go over to our minecraft launcher there we go and as you can see fabric loader 1.21.4 has appeared on our quick launch options so what we're gonna do is just go over to installations we can pick any installation I'm just gonna click on this folder icon for the latest release it doesn't really matter and if you don't see your fabric or your forge instance in here well that might be because you don't have modded selected right up here so if we select that you'll see fabric loader does show up now both of these use the root minecraft folder so it doesn't really matter but i'm just going to use latest release there we go and now if we scroll down and go over to this mods folder and open it up you'll see it's empty because we don't have anything inside of it yet so what we can do is just click on download and take our two mods and copy them then we can use this back arrow which will take us right back to mods then we can right click the empty space and click paste and now both of our mods are in the folder now we can click this back arrow again to go back to our minecraft folder and we can scroll down to resource packs and we can click downloads once again we can copy the fresh animations and we can delete these two and we can just use the back arrow once again now I just click the empty space click paste now we go forward which will take us right back to downloads and we can delete it from here there we go we are now done with everything we need to do for this to work so now we just click play on fabric loader So as you can see we are now in the game and down here it says minecraft 1.21.4 fabric modded so that means it worked now if we go over to options and resource packs you'll see we have fresh animations right here so we can just put that in here and click done it will reload the textures and now we're just gonna go into single player and we're just going to go into this world we are now loading the terrain and we are now in the world so what i'm going to do to showcase this is i'm just going to take a creeper and punch it so as you can see it adds a lot of new animations to certain mobs if I go over to the sheep for example you can see the sheep has a new animation yeah the animations are just different if I take a cat or something the cat has new animations and uh, yeah that's how to get fresh animations for minecraft 1.11.4 if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you have your own suggestion for a video, then leave that in the comments and we'll probably do it. Yeah. Bye.